The year is 2020, and humans are straight up not having a good time. When the decade arrived, it immediately burst into flames. True. Then a virus forced us into our homes, and now injustice True. has forced us into our streets. But I guess True. the PlayStation 5 seems kind of neat. Am I a hero? I really can't say, but yes. Compared to the <laughs> Xbox Series X, it's got a... Uh... Oh. It's thinner though. It's a little slim and then a little thick, you know what I'm saying? This is just a box. I, uh, what the heck is a T-flop? Listen, it's better than the PS4 by at least one, and more importantly, it has games people actually want to play. Microsoft. Yeah. Halo Infinite better be good, because Sony just revealed the future of gaming, and Xbox wasn't mentioned a single time. To experience this World of Tomorrow 4K showcase, Matt sat me down to watch a blurry, hour-long live stream on YouTube. So, let's relive this epic moment in video game history together. Big this blurry. Y'all need Facebook better internet. This episode. First, Sony took us to the distant land of 2021, where a game will be released by one of the industry's greatest developers. Rockstar. Here we go. <laughs> will it be Bully 2? Oh, Behave 2? Or even Gra What's Bully? <clears throat> will it be This looks- this art is so cute. What is Bully? Should I play it? Also, I don't have my stream labs open. Whoopsie daisy. Thank you to anyone that may or may not have subbed or resubbed. Which I'm sure none of you guys did. Why would anyone? Why, why would anyone? <laughs> no, I never played Bully. Is it good? Bully is a... Is it old? I don't know why I didn't. Can you say happy birthday to my best friend, Donald? Hello, Donald. I hope you have the best freaking birthday in all the birthdays that you've ever had. And not only that, but I hope that after this amazing birthday, that next year, your next birthday is even better. And then the year afterwards, maybe it's not as good, but it's a little bit worse. But then the year after that, it's better than all the birthdays before. And then it just keeps going where it like gets better and gets better. And then maybe it's not as good, but then it gets better. And like two thirds of all your birthdays are really, really just always better. I think that's a really good ratio of good birthdays. Happy birthday. Um, now what? Bully 2? Oh, Behave 2? Or even Grand Theft Auto 6? Uh, Ugh. They bamboozled next? us. Skyrim. Starting the PS5 reveal by revealing a PS3 game was not very cash money. But starting today, <laughs> PS4 owners get fake money every month until they buy GTA 5 again, again with real money. That's why Jim Sony had to come out and say, "Sorry about that. Let me explain." Rockstar paid us anyway. Here's Spider-Man. Miles. Miles. True. Oh my God. Miles is back. I'm so and excited he's a for this. <laughs> Okay, Jim, you got me, you old flirt. This is a console selling <laughs> launch title on its own. I can't imagine what you're gonna wow me with next. <laughs> Cargo brr. I'm bored. Yeah, can I get some music or something? Where's the rain? <laughs> I need to see a wet windshield before I know how good my PlayStation is. <laughs> well, did you know the PS5 supports 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays? I mean, the Ratchet and Clank movie looks so crisp and fluid. Hey, wait a minute. That's not a movie. Dang, Rift Apart may be the it's only pretty. concrete example of next-gen technology so far. Apparently, you'll never have a chance to read loading screen hints or take a sip of beer again because of the ultra-high-speed SSD. And somewhere in 2011, Linus Tech Tips is unboxing one like... Guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. However, improved Aww. hardware isn't always the most exciting part of a new True. entertainment system. For a few of us, it's the improved idea. Do you play a cat in a world of robots? Because that sounds fun. You do play as a cat, I think. Holy oh crap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm playing that Holy game. Stray. Have you guys seen um the 
anime on Netflix that either has come out or is about to come out where I think it's like a dude and a girl and the girl likes the dude. But every time the girl gets close to the dude, she turns into a cat. I don't get it, but I want to know what happens. <laughs> Whisker away. Something like, is it a movie? It's, it's a movie or a show. I don't know. I know it sounds very what, but it's so what that you're like, what happens? <laughs> what happens though? Kind of reminds me of like the the mermaid one, Disney Little Mermaid. Does she stop turning into a cat and they can love each other? Does she turn into a cat but then she can only be like his pet, and they get along? But getting a like having your pet is not a romantic relationship by any means. Anyways, hey. oh, I'm curious. That sounds fun. Not you, me. Me no, play. play. No, I, <laughs> I play. I'm the boyfriend. <laughs> no, I'm the boyfriend. I want to be. No, the me. I sting so They're so cute. Listen. Developing games used to be about making constant trade offs between artistic vision and technical limitations with every <laughs> breath you take. And then he showed us what creators are capable of when they have absolutely zero limits, thanks to the PS5. Oh! This What's is such that? a good video. Garfield. Yay. After that whole speech, they show a sack boy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have a hot take. So I hope you're ready to hear that. I don't think the PS5 is really all that necessary for most of these games. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Are you gonna mm. tell me the PS4 doesn't have enough T-flops to run goodbye Volcano High? Why am I watching Winged Furries rock out during the reveal of an expensive state-of-the-art device? This is just to sell dragon flashlights. Probably. I'll play it, but it's not really like a Dragon flashlights? Yeah, actually, she has a good fucking point. You really trying to tell me the PS4, 3, 2, or 1 can't run some 2D furry shit? Because I'm pretty sure it can. <laughs> And you know what? Yeah, I know most of you guys are sitting at home like, oh, weird. Is it a dinosaur, a furry, or a bird? I don't know. And it's in high school. <laughs> but to me, I'm kind of like, yeah, there's some freaky shit, but I kind of like the idea of like the years going on and the kids growing up and just everything gets weirder and more ambiguous. You know? Whatever. And someday, when I'm 40, and I go to my kid's high school, this is what the kids actually look like. It's no longer a pretend world. Out during the reveal of an this is just truly this what is just it is. Dragon flashlights. Probably. I'll play it, but it's not really like a reason to buy a PS5 or anything. Come on, show us the big True. stuff, Sony. It's, it's just a game. Yeah, I games that go really boom boom. Wow me. Oh no, it's another oh, baby game. Stop. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, bug snacks. Talking about bug snacks. Talking about bug snacks. Sorry. Okay. I remember watching Lyric watch this. Um. Again, imagine a bunch of 40-year-old white men sitting in a conference room, and one goes, I had an idea. We wanted to do something for kids, but revolutionary. So... We have something like a zoo, because kids love zoos, and it's an animal that is doing the zoo thing. And then when the animal eats fruit, part of its body becomes fruit. But here's the thing. You know what else kids love? Bugs. So we make the fruit the bugs, and then when you eat the fruit bugs, your body becomes the fruit bugs. And they all go, stop. <sighs> Yeah, that sounds like some good shit. Like what? <laughs> 40 is disconnected. You mean 60 or 55 plus at least true. Dude, I... Oh, actually, what? To be fair, some like wild ideas sometimes end up being really good. I don't know if this was one of them. I, I don't know. I I don't know. Talk about, about bug snacks. snacks. 
<laughs> Basically, our complaint about the reveal is that every game wasn't a sequel to Horizon like Zero Dawn. Nice. Matt was so eager to see Aloy that whenever a Horizon appeared, he almost exploded. <laughs> What's this? Oh. What is it? A horizon, it looks like to me. No. Yeah. They are so cute. It's not it's a horizon. Look at it. It's, <laughs> just, it's too normal. It, no, it's, it's a PS5. <laughs> You know? I think it's too normal for Horizon. Look at that. That doesn't oh, look like no, Horizon, right. you look, guys. Look like Come Horizon on. Oh, never mind. Fake I, I gamers. changed my mind. Fake right. gamers. Don't get me wrong, some of these other I'm titles so do have us arguing one. over who gets to play them. Matt is most excited for Ori and the Breath of the Pikmin. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my God. That's real true, 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 oh, no. true, true. Well, true. I have my heart set on Zenyatta versus Slenderman, Tokyo Drift. I want to play that. I will play that one. Yep. I okay. think you're forgetting also true. who true, true. boyfriend is. <laughs> yeah, but I want to okay. play that one. <laughs> no, you can play... They need to just switch this to, like, um... Have they done boyfriend reviews? So now they can just review each other's thingamajiggies. They're... I freaking... Guys, check out this channel, por favor. I'm a subby. It's so good. Oh, Pewds played this. Oh, no, no, no. Sack boy. <laughs> I wonder what he thought. It's just that we're dying to know what the Sony All-Stars are up to. That's why the end of the PS5 reveal had us on the edge of our butts. Before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to <gasps> me. What is it? Near. <laughs> and when it finally happened, I had to make the hardest decision of my gaming career. Witness each glorious second of Horizon 2 or get the pizza out of the oven. And I want all of you who followed my journey over the past year to know that on this day, I let the pizza burn. I am so excited for Bible Goes West with underwater stuff and the guy from The Wire is back. And when Matt told me it's rumored to have co-op, I looked right at the PS5 and said, two please. All right, guys, we <laughs> hope you enjoyed this stupid video. We didn't want to do a normal game review because we want to get started on The Last of Us Part 2, which we've been playing over on our Twitch channel. And if you don't already, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to give us even more support, we have a Patreon as well. I post pictures of our pets there, and you'll get exclusive access to our Discord. Okay, now it's time for a word from our sponsor. Squarespace Cute baby. makes it super easy to create. Up and the guy from the our Twitch channel.